Hi everybody, today we're talking about the North Swedish horse. So a lot of people did not like this horse when it released, so I thought it would be great to talk about it because I do have some opinions on it. And although I'm not like a fan of this horse, I do like it, but I just feel like it could have been a lot better, you know? But anyway, I think in Gen 1, there was a model for it, unless I'm confusing it with the Irish Cobb. This horse was really loved, if I'm not wrong, in Gen 1. But then Gen 3 comes along, because there wasn't a Gen 2 version. And the Gen 3 version, I feel like, disappointed a lot of people. But I'm not really sure. I feel like at first, everyone loved it. But then over time, people realized it's not that good. So when Gen 3 began, one of the first horses to be added to the game was the North Swedish horse. The North Swedish horse released, I believe, with Mistfall. And a lot of people loved the horse, but a lot of people were just like stunned at the new graphics. So they were just like, it's amazing. It's incredible, you know? But then there was people who also didn't like it because some of them had purple shading to them, which I'm pretty sure the brown North Swedish does have like purple in its coat. And that tint of purple really bothered a lot of people because horses in real life don't have purple on them. They just don't. But then over time, more horses started to get added to the game, you know, like the Arabian, Akaltik, Fjord, Marwari, all these new horses. And then the North Swedish starts to get like pushed under the rug because people realize like, wait a minute, why is it not that good? And a lot of people think the horse just doesn't look like its real life counterpart, like at all, or they think that it does, but not enough. But it kind of just gets a little bit more worse because then people were really upset at the Rune Runner because Star Stable decided, why don't we just remove, like, pass away a character from the game? I'm not going to say who because I don't want to spoil the storyline for people, but a really important character in the storyline does pass away. And then they bring in a new character who has this horse and this horse is the rune runner the rune runner is a special model of a horse that you need to work so hard on like there's people who literally have been trying to get this horse for a whole year straight i'm pretty sure it takes six months to get it, but like it's so much daily training like every day just to get this horse it's like 120,000 xp to get this horse. It's ridiculous, honestly. So you finally get this free horse and all this work just for a North Swedish horse. And of course, Star Stable is a Swedish game, but a lot of people don't like this horse because for all that effort, you think you would get like a new horse, like a brand new model, like a special, special horse. But people think Star Stable used the North Swedish model because Star Stable is a Swedish game. So it's not a surprise that the Jorvik Wormblood may look like a Swedish Wormblood, or not a surprise that the North Swedish is used for a quest, you know? But at the same time, it was kind of odd because a lot of people think the coat color is pretty for the North Swedish. But then a lot of people also just think it could have been on a different model. So from what I've seen, it feels like a lot of people kind of just decided to either stop using the horse because they don't want it, they've realized they could get better, or they just kind of gave up. I sometimes see people compare the North Swedish in Star Stable to the horses in... Skyrim, which I'm not sure for the same breed, but like the North Swedish I feel like is a really heavy horse, like not that heavy, but it's like it's like a draft horse kind of almost. And yeah. I do have a few of them, and I do like them. It's just it feels like they could have been a lot better. But also for the time they released, I feel like they were really really loved. So you can't really 
it's that weird thing where like there's inconsistencies in Star Stable's art style, but at the same time, the inconsistencies really take place in the first few years Star Stable's company got bought, you know? So maybe the game developers were struggling with trying to find a direction for the game, you know? Because Star Stable's game, I think, got bought in 2018 or 2019. So maybe the game developers were trying to find a way to make the horses fit the new aesthetic and they were just, you know, trying their best to make it work. But also, things will improve over time, you know? Like, art styles improve over time. So, it's kind of not really a surprise that the Yorvik Warmblood doesn't look as good as, like, the Percheron, you know? But it is odd how Gen 3 kind of is so inconsistent because like Gen 1, like you could tell they were all Gen 1, and then Gen 2, you knew it was all Gen 2. But then with Gen 3, some of the horses look like they're from Gen 2, or they look like they are Gen 3, but different versions of Gen 3, because some are so realistic and some are so cartoony that it's like, wait a minute, you know? So it kind of is what it is, but in my opinion, like I do like the horse, but I would never pay full price for it, that's why I wait till discount days. And even if I didn't do discounts, I think I would still wait because it's just, like, a cheaper option, you know? So, whatever. Anyway, bye!